to us. Shall we begin to bless the name of the Lord? Let's worship him. Let's lift up our voices unto our maker and begin to say good words concerning him. Call him his names. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Sekeno, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you, Father. What is your name, O oh God? Thank you, everlasting God. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. That was slain. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy. Thank you. Almighty God, there is not like from today. There is not to be compared with you. You are an incomparable God. The I am that is I am. The unchangeable changer. You say, is there anything difficult for you? There is none that is difficult for you. We give you praise. We give you honor. For the wonderful things you are doing in your church. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for all that you will do. Bless the Redeemer. Take all glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Here we are to worship you in your words. Father, Lord, attend to us. This morning, hear us, O oh God. Let your word come out with power and with fire. Let it transform lives. Let it change our situations. Let your word, O oh God Almighty, simplify and bring solutions to all our problems. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the reason of your word, O oh God, let testimony abound. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, I decrease that you may increase in my life. Thank you, everlasting Daddy. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Will you jam your two hands together for the Lord of us? And for the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. God is worthy of our praises. And we give God the glory for what God has done in our lives. Especially like today's service that our pastor is away, you know, for some things. And we thank the Lord that we are hearing good reports from them. And they will meet us in perfect peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that God will grant them travel message back. And even as many of our members that are on vacation, the Lord Almighty will bring them back to us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Church, I say good morning to every one of us. 
that are in persons and on, online, all our members online, I say good morning to you. And I say, by the end of today, you will testify. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our topic this morning to exhort every one of us, me inclusive, is becoming unlimited. Becoming unlimited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are having our test from the book of number 11 verse 23. Please, can you please bring it up? Number 11 verse 23. And the Lord said to Moses, Has the Lord's arms been shortened? Now you shall see whether what I say will happen to you or not. Hallelujah. And we have the next reading from Isaiah 59 1. Isaiah 59 1. Shall we have that too? Isaiah chapter 59 1. Behold, the Lord's hands is not shortened. That was the reply for that number. Has, you know, is the, is the arms of God shortened? And Isaiah 59 says, Behold, the Lord's hands is not shortened, that it cannot save, nor is ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Hallelujah. And we have the Philippians 4, chapter 4, verse 19. Philippians 4, verse 19. It says, And my God shall supply all your needs. Say, all my needs. According to his riches in Christ Jesus. In glory by Christ Jesus. He will supply all our needs. That's where promises of God to us. Hallelujah. Becoming unlimited means, you know, because we want to get into what uh, limitation means. It means to be confined, you know, to be on the spot. Praise the Lord. To be restricted. And becoming unlimited means to become unstoppable, not stagnant, not incapacitated. Not merry go randing, rand. Just turning around certain situations. No going forward, no going backward. Just on the spot, merry go randing. Praise the Lord. It means moving forward, having upward movements. In some total, it means no limitation in all spheres of one's life that is becoming unlimited when you become unlimited there is no limitation that can come your way hallelujah and in all standard humanly speaking man is subject to limitation you hear me man is subject to limitation humanly speaking so How do we come about lim limitation? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Limitation sets in when one is poor. Which means poverty is what? It's limitation. Poverty is limitation. Sickness is limitation. 
You know in our uh, prayer this morning, in, jo in Joshua 21, verse uh, uh, 44, the Bible said that, that our enemies are not our uncles. They are not our aunties. So our enemies are those things that are not conducive in our lives, that God did not plant in our lives. Sickness is a limitation. Poverty is our enemy. It's limitation. Undiagonized, you know, uh, symptoms of sickness is also a limitation. When sickness is diagnosed, it becomes limitation. Even when it is diagnosed, it's also a limitation. When man is in sorrow, it's a limitation. When something happens to man, it brings limitation. When one is always borrowing in debt, always it's a limitation. You don't have debit card. It's credit all the time. Just book me down. Book me down. Book me down. It's a limitation. Some people use credit card, but they have their money on grant to pay it. They use credit card because of what they want from the government. But they already get the money to pay. But they use their credit card. Hallelujah. Amen. So when one is in debt, is in the habit of, you know, borrowing is limitation. When you are to pray, <laughs> but not able, it happens to everyone. You understand, but you fight it if you have no limitation in prayer. Praise God. But those that have limitation, you will wake up, oh, but you cannot pray. It makes it, your, your, your flesh is weak. Your spirit is willing. But your flesh, you know, cannot, you know, cope. Because such one is not in spirit. So prayerlessness is what? Limitation. Unfruitfulness is limitation. Barrenness is limitation. Not in the fruitful aspect alone is barrenness. We can be barren financially. Hallelujah. Barrenness is what? It's limitation. Hallelujah. When you have a business and it's not going on, as you also, we saw people that do business and within a year, two years, it boom. But in our own case, in your own case, it's just moving slowly and slowly. Hallelujah. That is a limitation. You have been waiting for the right man or the right woman to come, but yet you are still expecting, you are still searching searching for the bone of your bone and the you know and the uh, 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 and the flesh of your flesh that is a limitation praise the lord writing exams various exams severally without being successful is a limitation i could remember when we were in our africa there was a man that wrote exams you know, uh, uh, I can't, uh, I can. He wrote it several years and it cost a lot until he gave his life that he passed it. I saw one woman here when I came 11 years ago here and I saw her writing board exams for nursing for six years. And without board exams, you cannot become a, a, a working nurse. And I asked one day, I said, ah, excuse me, you are a nurse, where do you work? He said, I've not been working because I've not passed my board exams. That's a limitation. It's a limitation. It's a limitation. And you expect to, you know, to get promotion to the next level in your office but it's not coming forth if 
even when it comes forth, that level that you are, three years back or one year back, those people that were in that position got, you know, a, 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 a higher, a higher uh, payment than you when you come to that level. That's a limitation. There was somebody telling me that uh, when the promoter him uh, is in that level, but the level they gave him, he, they are not paying the level. You know, the people that came last year, that level, they did not pay for to him. I said, you have to pray. They will change it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is a limitation. It's a limitation. This morning, we are moving forward. I will count myself with thee. We are moving forward. We are moving forward. You are no more restricted. We are no more restricted. You are no more confined into a spot in the mighty name of Jesus. We are moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, even non-payment of bills, I'm explaining all of this to make us to know that some have been restricted so long a time. Non-payment of a bill, the bill is coming, you are working, but you cannot afford to pay that bill monthly. You will just, you know, go ahead to be given excuses. <laughs> Let me tell you, that's a, that's a, a, a what? That's that's uh, on lim uh, that is limitation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's limitation. Hallelujah. The marriage which is to be enjoyed is now endured in your own case. If you are hearing me online, that is a limitation. You need not endure your marriage. You need to enjoy it to the maximum. To the maximum. Inability, you know, to make it in life. Where others are making it, it is always story, story. In your own case. The thing that people do, and they make it, you do it, and there is a failure. That is a limitation. Praise the Lord. You know the story of some people, of some families, uh, that they don't reach certain, certain age before they start dying. We saw several things like that, example like that in our Africa. They are limited to certain age in that family to die. Unless some of them, you know, realize it on time and they come to Jesus, that will be when their age, you know, will surpass that certain age. Praise the Lord. It's limitation. It's limitation. It is a limitation. Others are that they have a height that they can get to in blessing. They have certain heights that they can get to blessing. Before they come down, they start coming down, down because it was a taboo for them to get higher than that limited, limited level. Praise the Lord. Or you are in educational pursuit. You take several degrees. I saw people here taking degrees upon degrees. I was asking in Massachusetts, I said, ah, what are they using this for? We are us. The one that has one degree has gone far ahead of them. And you are taking one degree, two degrees, second degree, third degree, third degree ah, ah. And you still staying in one spot. That's a limitation. Praise the Lord. That's an attack from the devil. Hallelujah. Even no matter how financial they are, the financial, you know, 
they, 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 some are financially okay, but still they don't excel with their colleagues or you know with their can, uh, counterparts. Praise the Lord. Those that have nothing in their family, they excel more than them. Uh, don't you see? People, you know, students coming out with flying colors. Are they children of the, of the rich? No. They came out with flying colors in their exams. And, you know, government starts to bless them. People start to bless them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. Because I have an assurance that if you come to the side of our limit, you know, unlimited Savior, unlimited God, you are bound to overcome all your limitations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I assure you that Christian life is a progressive life. It's a progressive life. In the dictionary of God, there is no retrogressive. There is no backwardness. You can't see it. It's forward for whatever than that dictionary so because God has destined us to move from strength to strength from glory to glory from one level of anointing to the other from one level of blessing to the other you know progressing 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 and not to retrogress hallelujah God has made us in that woman he has made us in that image praise the Lord and, you know, man become unlimited when we talk about healing. What does the, the, the Bible say it's about Deuteronomy 7.15? Deuteronomy 7.15. It says, and the Lord will take away our, all our sickness. And we put none of the evil diseases of Egypt. We thou knowest not. It is not in our dictionary to be sick. He said, we take out sickness and diseases away from us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Anyone that is sick this day, the Lord Almighty will heal us in the name of Jesus. When we say one can become unlimited in terms of success, we have the, 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 the word of God backing it that we must become successful. There is a word back in it. In the book of Psalm 1, 3. Psalm 1, verse 3. Psalm 1, verse 3. He said, It shall be like a tree planted by the riverside, whose leaf is evergreen, eh? and that bring forth its fruits in its season, and whose leaf shall not wither. That is the word of God for you this morning. That is the promise of God. In the book of Joshua 21 verse 45, it says none of his promises we are gone, you know, without coming to pass. None. We fail. Man is not a, a, a God is not a man that he, he, he will speak a word and will not come to pass. No. God has said it, that success is ours. Why the unsuccessful venture we are back upon? Hallelujah. We serve God. A God that is unlimited. He does not have any limit except we allow it in our lives. He doesn't allow it. Because of our own belief, we allow him to be limited in our lives because of our unbelief. We are unlimited becoming spiritual giants. We are bound to grow spiritually. We are not bound to be on the same spot every year, there and in, there out. They call you to pray. You don't pray. You say you have no time and that time you are sleeping. I joined uh, the traveling prayer yesterday. I used to go for um, a Bible study on Saturday, Pastor uh, 
brother Akonigile, and I told my mommy, I said, I will not be able to be joining that because I will be extra. When I did go yesterday, I was of the two opinions. Can I join? Can I not join? Can I, I said, eh? When I'm, a, when I'm free, why, why, why not? Nobody told me to join. When I joined, hallelujah. Before I used to join and I will quit and I will go to, to the Bible study. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. If you have that time, join the church to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. You become spiritual giants. We are not unlimited to become the giants. Not the old pastors alone are giants spiritually. You see brother, you see sisters being giants. Where I was coming from, I used brothers, sisters to preach, to do everything. And you see them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So in, in, in the book of John 14, verse 12. John 14, verse 12. He said, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, greater works will he do. That is Jesus Christ saying that greater works we will do. He opened the eyes of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the blind. We will do greater. He made the lame walk. He said, we will do greater. But we are on the same spot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Mark 11.24, We became unlimited in praying and receiving answers. That assures us. He said, therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray. Do you know that this passage of the Bible used to give me assurance too much? He said, whenever you pray, whatever you ask when you pray, believe that you have received. He said, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So why not pray? God has given us that promise, that assurance that we must pray. What's stopping you to pray? What's limiting your prayer life? That is, not even joining the church, not even the group, but within your closet, your closest is your heart. When you go into your closet and you begin to pray alone with God, alone with who? With God. Why? He said, whatever you ask. You know, I read a, 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 a story of a man who will ask a thing from God and it will come to pass immediately. He's a man like us now. What about Elijah? He's like man like us. And it, <laughs> it made a, 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 he put up the, the fire. Stone, water, everything, wood. And call out the God of fire to consume. Immediately, fire came up and consumed. Is like us. It's not a special man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. The Lord will see us through in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, we can become unlimited in longevity. Yeah. When I said some have limited, you know, age to reach. Before they die in, one, in, any, in, in some families. But we, we can live as long as God wants us to live. Hallelujah. We will not die young. Because it's a promise of God that he says he will bring to pass 
nothing will go unfulfilled. In the book of Isaiah 65, 22, it says, They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. You want to enjoy the work of your hand? The blessing God has released upon your life? Let the limitation go away from you. Come to the side of Christ. Be Christ a, 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 a giant. Hallelujah. God sees beyond our limitation. He sees be, beyond our circumstances. He sees beyond our situation. Praise the Lord. And he sees be, beyond our appearances. You know, we may put up smiles. But there are so many things encumbered in our hearts. But God sees beyond our appearance. Praise God. We may put on smiling. We may be laughing. But there are certain situations and circumstances within us that nobody knows except God. So when God sees beyond our situation and circumstances and even appearances, hmm, even to the unlimited possibility of our lives and wants, he sees beyond that. He sees beyond that. Why are we now being limited in all these problems that is, you know, that is encompassing us? Why are we not on the side of Christ? Hallelujah. We want to know how we can become unlimited. Because we may not know before. In Isaiah 45.1, Isaiah 45.1, in summary, you know, that Isaiah 45.1, it says, when God holds a man's hand, all the impossibility we do what? We go. All the limitations will be taken care of. When God holds your hands. So, number one thing you do is to desire it. Desire that you will not be limited. You must be determined. Jabez was a son of sorrow. He was born in sorrow. He was born into the family of sorrow. In, Jab in, 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 in Second Chronicles, Second Chronicle, uh, First Chronicle, four nine. But Jabez said, "No, I didn't want this. My brothers may be cause the name so attacked with sorrow, but me, I don't want it. It desire joy." He said, "I will not go with sorrow. So you must desire it." You must desire it. He said, I was not born with limitation. First Corinthians, uh, first Corinthians 4 9. You know, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. But he rejected it. He rejected it. He said, No. That name is not mine. That sorrow, mm -mm, mm -ba. something sorrowful may be happening within me and, you know, around me, but I will reject it. Hallelujah. As Jabez rejected it, that name of sorrow, that name sorrow, hallelujah, you have to reject depth. You have to reject uh, 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 sickness. Reject it. And desire to be unlimited. Hallelujah. Another example is from Mark 10. Mark 10, 46 to 52. You remember the blind Bartomeu? Then the Lord will not allow the world to call you by the name 
that is not yours in the name of Jesus. They said the blind Bartholomew. Is the name blind Bartholomew? No. The name was Bartholomew because of his ailments, because of his condition, because of his circumstances, that name was attached. They can say the sick woman, the blind man. No, that name is not your portion. It's not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Bartholomew said to the crowd, this limitation of blindness must go. He was determined, not minding the crowd. Let me tell us, the crowd can be a limitation to our testimonies. They wanted to be a limitation in Bartholomew's case. He said, no. Even the garment that he wore became an hindrance. It became a limitation. He threw it away. He said, no. The, the, don't go. Shut up. It's Jesus, the son of David that is passing. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Shut it up. He said, no. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. As we will cry unto Jesus, the son of David, to have mercy on us this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The second one is that you must be a giver before you can become unlimited. Be a giver. Luke 6, 38, what does it say? It says, give and it shall be given to you. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. And running over shall be given to your bosom. Praise God. It shall be measured back to you. Solomon became unlimited when he gave 1,000 offerings a sacrifice to God. He was unlimited. Ah, God visited him. He said, we, uh, 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 Solomon, what do you need? He gave him an empty check. <laughs> oh my God. Empty check. What do you want? Write it. Ask, and I will give to you an empty blank check. He now gave, he now said, I need your wisdom. Wisdom. Hallelujah. Was he given? Was he given? He was given that. He was given. Solomon became unlimited to prosperity after he gave a thousand burnt offering. You can see that in 1 Kings chapter number 3 and 3 to 4. God visited him and he gave him wisdom. Another one is that you must be a seeker. Seek him. Why he, he, he can be found? Do we seek God passionately? Do we serve him? You know, effectively. You must be an ardent seeker. Seek God. Proverbs 8, 17 says, I love those who love me. And those who seek me diligently will find me. Are we seeking God diligently? Let's be questioned. You know, that, those are the questions we can answer from us, from our hearts. Are we seeking God? It's not coming to church oh, every Sunday. Seek him while you are in church. Seek him outside the church. Seek him in your closet. Seek him in your workplaces. Seek him everywhere. Diligently. We have said that in our Monday, uh, Monday service. When you are diligent, there are rewards of being diligent from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be an ardent seeker. Anna took that advantage. He went to seek God in Shiloh. Everybody, they have been going to Shiloh. Nothing happened. But when he became an ardent seeker, when he said, oh, I will seek God this year. 
He went to Shiloh. And thereafter, what happened to Anna? He was given a child, Samuel. Be an ardent seeker. We are because of our time, we are going. Be an ardent seeker. For Samuel 1, 1 to 2. Another one, be a witness. Be a witness. You must know how to witness if you want to become spiritual giants. For you to become unlimited to the secret room of God, you must bring sinners to his kingdom. Daniel 12, 3 says, Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Be witnesser. How many have you brought to the church? Let your character, your behavior bring people. Ah, I love the way you are behaving. Where is your church? But instead, so many are talking ill of the church outside. Hallelujah. Don't be part of them. Don't be part. And the Lord Almighty will bless us in return in Jesus' name. Be willing to do the will of God. I'm rushing because of our time. Be willing to do the will of God. He said in Luke eleven twenty eight 28, that more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. How many of the word of God that we keep? How many commandments of God that we keep? How many? The next one is do not fear. Fear is a torment. You want to do something, you want to be go into a, a business and you fear. After hearing from God about that business, go into it. Take risk. Take risk. Don't mind the devil bringing that fear. Don't be afraid. After hearing that, go. Go and do it. Go. With the purpose of becoming prosperous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you know that woman on, uh, 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 with the issue of blood. If he was afraid, he would not receive that, that blessing of healing. He saw many crowds. Many people were sick that time. But they never had that God to go and touch the hem of the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ. They were afraid to go near here, him. They were afraid. Oh, that man has God. He said, ah, today is my day. I will go and touch the hem of the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as soon as he touched it, Jesus looked back. He said, somebody has touched me. Because that virtue was released. Hallelujah. You want the virtue of Jesus Christ to be released of, upon your life. Just touch his heart. Touch his heart. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Many don't be incapacitated by anything. Move to that business after hearing for God to go. Therefore, move forward. Solomon took the risk of, you know, paying that huge amount as sacrifice. He paid it. So, the men that took a man through the roof, they took, you know, they took a risk. That roof had become a limitation for them. But they took it away and let down that man for his ceiling. Don't let anything to become a limitation in your way. Take it away. Hallelujah. Conclusively, God is unlimited. He has power to, to create and he has told us to recreate. That is why we become unlimited as God. When we recreate, Jeremiah 32, 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me to do? No, 
nothing is difficult for him to do. Maybe some of us are still stuck in one spot. Yes, today, God is willing to set us free in the name of Jesus. And anyone on the side of the unlimited God becomes, uh, becomes unlimited and power to recreate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is willing. He's willing to set us from all the limitation of our lives. He's ready. He said all the promises that I've made, I will bring to pass. They said it in Joshua 21, 45. He said he brought them to pass. None was left. Every promises of God towards us this year will be kept in the mighty name of Jesus. You are released from that limitation. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever your limitation right away, the Lord is up there. He's up there to release his power unto us and to recreate and to become unlimited as him. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall we rise up on our feet? Shall we rise up on our feet? You want the God of uh, 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 impossibility and the God of limitation to attend to you. Just raise up your hand. Because you want to be on his side, just begin to pray that, Father Lord, I have come to you with my limitation. Father Lord, remove every limitation from me, O God. Remove every limitation from me. Remove every limitation from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray that prayer? Let's begin to pray that prayer. Remove that limitation away. Remove it, remove it. Remove it in the name of Jesus. Let all the limitation be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove it, O oh Lord. Remove it, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every limitation, every limitation, sickness, poverty, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, remove it from me. Remove it from me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every limitation be removed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And so, dear that in heaven, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you honor because you are our God. Thank you for He that all you have helped us. Thank you, O God Almighty, because as from now, we are creating and we become unlimited to every issue surrounding us, to every circumstances in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. Lord, we thank you. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.